Hi everyone and thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 50. This week I'm going to share with you how to cut an object out and place it on a different background and try to make it look realistic. Just last week we went with a bunch of friends to the Toronto Pearson International Airport and uh, friends of ours had an in and we were able to take some really cool shots with airplanes. So this particular image that I shot, I want to show you how we cut it out and put it on a different background. So I hope you enjoy this one and uh, we'll see you in Photoshop. So here's the image that we're going to be cutting out and we are going to be pasting it on this cloud image and then we're going to be doing a motion blur so it looks like the plane is actually moving with the clouds. And then we're going to paste it on this background to give it a totally different look. So there you have it. So you can do this. Once you cut out an object, you can paste it on whatever background you want and have a lot of fun. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our lasso tool and we're going to feather, change the feather to zero, um, zero point. So we don't want, we want the brush to be very harsh. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to begin cutting this out from the bottom. As you can see, we're just going to cut close to the airplane, but not exact. And with the lasso tool, if you hold down your option um, button, which is also the Alt key, and click, it'll hold your um, it'll hold the straight line. So this is an, a great technique to use when cutting things out. And then as soon as you join it, you can um, right click and make selection. So then now we're just going to slide it onto our cloud background and now we're going to edit free transform and we're going to make the plane smaller so that it fits um, over the sky nicely. Okay, then we're going to move it up here a little bit more until we have it in the position that we want. Okay, so that looks good and then we're going to apply the transformation. Okay. There we go. So as this is applying, what we're going to do next is we're going to take our eraser tool and we're going to zoom in. We're going to make the, uh, the brush really hard as well. And uh, we're going to zoom in as much as we can and we're going to erase the leftover background that is still there. So here we go. So this is really close. You're seeing all the uh, the pixelation. I didn't bring my uh, my flash or any lighting. This was taken at nighttime, so I had to bump up the ISO, which caused a little bit of grain. So now with the eraser tool, if you um, hold down the shift button, it will erase in a straight line, which is so amazing. So what we're doing is we're just holding down the shift key and we're erasing right along the line of the airplane. So you can do this with any object. Um, it's quite easy to, uh, to do. You just have to zoom in and get in there really close uh, to make it perfect. We're doing this um, pretty qu quickly for you. So if you were to do this for um, you know a project or something you wanted to frame, you'd probably want to take a little bit slower of your time and just to make sure it's totally exact. So we're going to go um, all the way around this. And then after we're done cutting out, what we're going to do is take the lasso tool again and we're going to um, we're going to go around and erase the uh, the extra background that's still there. Okay, so we're almost at the end of this. We've just got a few more to go. So again, with the eraser in a straight line, it's the shift key and the lasso, it's the, um, the option key, the alt button. Okay, so now we're doing the lasso tool again and we're just gonna go around and you can make smaller selections um, and cut it out. Okay, it's pretty easy. Okay, so then we're gonna erase that. Okay, so there you have it. The plane is officially cut out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Filter, Blur, and then Motion Blur. So we're going to go to the cloud layer, which is uh, our background, and then we're just going to uh, blur it here. So you have the preview there. You can see in the background how it looks. So you can blur it as much as you want with the 
the motion. So there you have it, it's all done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that airplane and we're gonna paste it on top of this background. So there you have it, two totally different looks. It would be fun to, um, to play with it with uh, you know a McDonald's drive-through or you could have a lot of fun with these images. So here's the final two, two different looks. There you go. On behalf of Vine Images, I just want to thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. We hope you learned something new today and we will see you next week. Have a great day guys. Bye-bye.